Kia ora Trentots! Welcome to our story time. Today I have a very special story about a family celebrating Matariki. Matariki is our Maori New Year. We celebrate it during midwinter. Let's read the story. So, this is our book. It says Matariki. This book is written by Melanie Drivery and illustrated illustrated means the person who actually drew this beautiful picture is bruce porter you can see the, the, one little girl and a little boy and you can see a bit of fire i don't know what's happening because i haven't read the book this is my first time reading this book too so i'm very excited ah oh, look at that it's a grandmother holding her grandchild and I think she is telling a story. I don't know. Let's let's go through the story so we know what it's all about. Can you see this picture? Okay. Tonight we have to go to bed really early, said Mum. Tomorrow morning we are going to have a surprise. What sort of surprise, we asked. You will find out soon, said Mum. Uncle Joe came into the kitchen. Ha, oh, phew. I am tired, he said. That was hard work. What were you doing, Uncle Joe? We asked. I was making a bonfire, he grinned. Why? You will find out soon, said Uncle Joe. Can you see Auntie Pania? This is Auntie Pania. <laughs> Auntie Pania came into the kitchen. Where shall I put these heavy bags, she asked. What is in them, we asked. Kai for a feast. Kai means food. Why are we having a feast? We asked. You will find out soon, said Auntie Pania. Nanny walked into the kitchen. This is Nanny. Nanny. Nanny means grandmother. Kia ora, Mokoma, she said. Kia ora, grandchildren. That is what it means. Moko. Moko means grandchild. Mokoma means grandchildren. Hmm. What are you doing here, Nanny? I have come to stay the night, she said. What for? Do you know what's the surprises, Nanny? We asked. You will find out soon, laughed Nanny. After tea, Mum said, right, it's time for bed. Oh, Mum, not yet. It's early, we groaned. Come on, go to bed. And then it will be time for the surprise, said Uncle Joe. Choose some warm clothes for the morning, said Nanny. Good night. Sleep tight. No arguing, said Auntie Pania. But what is the surprise, we shouted. You will find out soon, they all said. They don't know what that surprise is, and I don't know. Wake up, whispered Mum. It's morning, and you need to get dressed. Why? Where are we going, we asked. We are going to a New Year party, said Mum. New Year? But that's in January. This is the mid of the winter, middle of the winter. And should should a party be at night, we asked. This is the Maori New Year, said Mum with a smile. We are going to celebrate Matariki. Now let's get the kai and walk down to the beach. Kai means food. Can you see a special ne necklace on her neck? This is a koru pattern. See, that is a koru necklace. So Maori, in Maori people, they normally wear beautiful um, patterned necklace. Okay, so this is a koru pattern. Cut. Scene two. It was very dark outside and the moon was just a tiny curve in the sky. Let's hold hands so we don't get lost, said Auntie Pania. What will we do at the party, Mum? We asked. We are nearly there, said Mum, squeezing our hands. You will find out soon. On the beach, a bonfire was blazing. Uncle Joe was already there. Look at the beautiful sky with lots and lots of stars. Welcome, welcome to this Matariki celebration, he said, hugging us all. Mom gave us silver tin foil packages. These are There are kumaras in these. Let's cook them in the fire for later, she said. So we pushed them into the hot part of the fire with sticks. 
Hey, look, my turkey is rising, called Nanny. She pointed to some stars and began to call out, her voice echoing over the sea and into the darkness. See those stars over there, whispered Mum. They are my turkey. Nanny was welcoming them back. Where have they been, we asked. Well, these stars move across the country and near the middle of the May, they disappear from our sky and then they reappear near the middle of June. The first new moon after they come back is the start of the new year, the Maori New Year, and the days will start to get longer again. Auntie Pania and Mum stood up with Nanny and sang a sad song. Why did you sound so sad? we asked. We were singing about people we loved who have died, said Mum. Some people say Matariki is made up of the seven houses of the gods and that people's spirit go there when they die, said Nanny, wiping tears from her face. That's This is the time to think about people who, who actually gone, who passed away. Are they really? we asked. Well, other people say those seven stars are seven chiefs looking down and we can see only one of their eyes, said Auntie Pania. And others say Matariki is the pro of a great walker in the sky, said Mum. Where do I come from? People say Matariki is a woman living in the sky with her six daughters, said Nanny. I like the story about Tane, said Uncle Joe. There was a star so bright and beautiful, all the people loved it, and this made Tane jealous. He snatched it from the sky and threw it hard to smash it. The star broke into seven pieces, but still shone brightly, and the people named it Little Eyes, or Matariki, that is the story behind it. I don't know about that, said Nanny, but I do know that Matariki can tell us if it will be a good ear. How? we asked. Look at the stars. Are they bright and clear and standing apart? This means it will be a good fine ear. If they are thin and quivering and huddled together, it means it will be a cold ear. Not much good for growing things. So what sort of a ear will it be? asked Auntie Pania. A oh, very good one, said Nanny with a smile. So we all should look up in the sky and see how the stars looks like. So we know we can predict what's going to be the year, what, what, what type of um, year we're going to have. The kumara is cooked, called Uncle Joy. We peeled off the tin foil and delicious smell rose to greet us. The smell of this kumara will give Matariki strength. She will be hungry after her long sleep, said Nanny. I had only a short sleep, but the smell of that kumara is sure making me hungry, laughed Uncle Joe. Let's eat. So we sat and ate our feast of bread and hot buttered kumara, while Matariki sparkled in the sky, bringing the first new morning of our special New Year. So they had a beautiful New Year celebration. Did you enjoy our Matariki celebration? asked Mum. As we walked home, yes, oh, beyond. But which story should we believe? Well, said Mum, think of the story that feels right in your heart. That is the true story for you. Hey, said Nanny, I believe it's going to be a very good year. Hope you all enjoy my beautiful story. Let's meet up with you all next time with another beautiful story. Thank you. Kakete Anor.